Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits and welcome to my channel. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and this week I'm going to show you how to use a foam stamp, a big version of this little one. This is a brand new foam stamp of mine, comes in two sizes. This is the small one and there's a bigger one that I have used to create hand stamped and then hand embellished aprons. I meant to be wearing the apron while I was talking to you. Where is it? Here it is. Here's one of them. Isn't that adorable? It's Frida. I know why I didn't wear it because I'd have to have it all the way up here for you to see it. <laughs> so it's my new Frida sugar skull design for Art Foamies, of course. And they are having a Frida celebration and they asked a whole bunch of artists to take uh, their own design um, and creativity and their own spin on a Frida Kahlo stamp. And it's in celebration for her birthday, which is July 6th. And I was recently in Mexico City in April um, with my sister, and I learned a little bit more about Frida. What I learned that was very sad but close to my heart is that she died on my birthday, July 13th. So um, she's still a huge icon in Mexico. They are so proud of her, and her likeness adorns all kinds of things, um, from pencils to paintings to headbands to jewelry jewelry, you name it. Uh, anyway, I thought that it would be fun to show you how to use this stamp to create not only the apron, but to stamp on fabric in general. The possibilities are endless. So if you've got a few minutes, let's go check it out. Okay, so now that the black gesso has dried, I'm going to come in with um, some large point Posca paint pens, acrylic paint pens, and embellish the apron. So I am mostly going to color in the open spaces, but I can also color over the black gesso because the Posca paint pens are opaque. So they go on nice and vibrant and heavy. You don't have to do more than one coat which is nice and they will go right over black so let's make these poppy flowers pink and we'll make the one in the back orange so i can get some variation of bright color in here so we'll put the bright orange on the back poppy then I've got a really nice bright blue for the headband so what I love about embellishing with Posca paint pens, Posca markers, is that you don't have to bring out the paint brushes, you don't have to have a wet mess, they dry pretty fast, they're vibrant colors, and they stand up right over that black gesso. So they make the uh, work of coloring the stamp fun and simple and fast. Oh, and I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that I made about 20 of these aprons and they're signed and they're available on my website. There's only 20, so you're going to have to get them fast. Limited edition. So paperpaintings.com slash shop. Then I've got some 
dark purple or dark navy that I've been coloring in the eyes with. Let's go with dark purple. This just gives an opportunity to add some more color. And like I said, this paint pen goes right over the black really nicely and solidly. I'm leaving some of the black showing around the edges, but I'm filling in there. I've got some bright yellow we could add to the pink. Ooh, that's pretty. It's going to get the tip of my yellow kind of pink, though. So I would uh, color it off onto a clean sheet of paper if you want to bring it back to clean yellow. It's kind of a neat effect, though. And so I could probably add that to the jewelry. And maybe in the center of this flower and this flower. And that's working pretty cleanly. And then we could add the pink back in. And I've got some bright green. You can add embellishments, patterns, dots that aren't even in the original. And speaking of patterns, we give her a little snazzy headband and maybe add blue to the jewelry and there you have it a super fun way to use the Frida Kahlo foam stamp to embellish fabric and then add color with Posca paint markers Thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for being excited and inspired by Frida Kahlo as I am. I hope that you might consider grabbing one of these foam stamps, either the big one or the small one or both. I used the big one on the aprons, um, but you could use a small one all around the bottom of your favorite skirt. So thanks again. Um, subscribe, like, leave a comment, all those good things, and I'll see you right back here next week.